Hello, the game has started and my opponent has opened with a bingo. Uh, what to do here? Got crew here. No, don't like the rack leave. Um, God, dweeb. No, I need to keep something half decent. Um, I'm going to go with the web for 24. Um, I've created an X and a Z hotspot there, so opponent's taken it out. And Kludgia, think through a D. seeing a great play. I don't have an A for going above bed, uh, but I do have the C. Just looking at what plays down onto the Y. Gluey. Um, cruelly would be two L's. I'll play Kerr. 24. Um, I have the ING, okay, opponent, distrail, and exhaling I have through an H. Relaxing, that looks okay. Anything from the T. Not quite telaxing. I'll go with relaxing. Um, contends through a D. That D not in the right spot. This one up here. Consent is good. That looks right. I draw a blank. Um, do I have a bingo? I have the two. Uh, is it gen gen twos? Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, Euro note is good. Euro note. What would they have to play through? Oh, it's not like there are that many floaters anyway. Eco tone is good. Does that play anywhere? It's 
So it would be Euronote through an R or a U does the I assist. Well, that would be a 5L8, so it's unlikely. Not impossible, but the C looks um, most likely. Neoteric, no. Okay, so relaxing might take an S. Cone, I have the cone component of the word. How many eights do I know ending in cone? Can't think or found any. I have the out prefix. Out. No, too many vowels for that one. Okay, I'm not seeing a bingo. Um, This is a Z hotspot right here. Might take it out. Eon for 12. Okay, that looks like a bingo rack. Haroset. And Asthor. To hero, eh? to hear to hero, uh, I think is good, but that doesn't. Now this cur that takes a T. Har is no good, otherwise Asthor would have been nice. Pier no front hooks, but um. Uh, what was another? Har, that's the one that keeps. I have to end in a in a T, so kind of something a T. Um, Earshot. Yep, that works. Earshot for 110. That is a bit of a hot spot there at the trip, but had to be done, I guess. Um, not a great pickup at all. Kuru is good. And Trug, I guess, would sort out the duplicates, but doesn't score very well. And I'm thinking of this spot here. Tig. Hmm. Not seeing a, good, a great play here. Irk, Irk, Ug, Rug, Gug is no good. Rug, 23. Any advance on 23? K plays here. 
No great plays there. Anything on to the Y? Well, not a very um, flexible rack this, but surely there's got to be a a play worth um, investigating there. I just don't know how to block this hot spot here. I mean, I could just play a G there, and that does... Then he's got G's, prob possibly, G double E Z. It's just such a poor score to, to block. I might just have to accept my fate with that hot spot, because I can't... Yeah, you see, I can't seem to block it. Hat takes nothing that I've got. Tick. Hmm. I'm just going with rug here. If opponent scores there, he scores there. best I could do was just place a G there, but it just seemed so weak. Okay, that's uh, a relief. Z and J hot spots. Well, that corner there needs to be addressed, I'd say. Cop. Doesn't give much back to opponent. Yeah, I'm going with this. Um, guide. There's a pretty hot spot there for the Z or the J play of Jokos, for example. I could score pretty high. Okay, opponent scores quite well with the Z. And we're more or less level now, so the J now, can I take advantage of this Y? Mm, dicey can't... Uh, dicey there for 30. Yeah. I draw the J. I mean, these are pretty bingo-y tiles, so if opponent's got a bingo there, then he pretty much seals the win. I have jute here. 36. Um, any J hotspots? Onto the Y. Anything ending in K? Not likely. Gluey doesn't quite reach. Don't have... Um, an N for Jeton would have been great. Okay, Jute remains available. Juve is better. Almost overlooked that. Uh, 
Um, pretty bingo -y tiles there. I hope opponent doesn't have a bingo. Grunty, is that a word? Grunty. Grunty. I don't know about that one. Uh, what have I got here? Togs. 30. Terrible rack leaf. There's one in the bag, so if I can go out in two which is going to be tricky with just one unattractive vowel. The U isn't uh, a great one. Opponent's got, yeah, you see he's got, oh, I've got Strung here. And he's got, uh, does he have something on to the Y there? Lavery, is Lavery good? Violery. Is there a six letter play with starting R because then he has it there? Reveal. Re, re. Hmm. Uh, this is really tricky. Um, strung for 31, but is there a play there onto the Y? Lavery. Why am I thinking of Lavery? Thirty-one. Yeah, I think this is my best. Uh, four eighty-two to four forty-one. I don't think opponent has an outplay. He might have one, but I haven't seen it. And where will my L play to best effect? Pal for five. Lion low for four. Juvel no good. Um, yeah, not seeing. Ah, uh, lax for ten. So, unless opponent goes out, I think this ten point play here might get me over the line, even if he scores really well from this trip onto the Y. Vera line. Oh, okay, so he does go out, but not enough to win. Just thank my opponent for the game. And let's have a look at what we missed. So, uh, let's see. Uh, my opponent did start with the bingo frosted and then weblog for 18 web for 24 better score but obviously the better rack leave there so equity web weblog yeah not much between those i think um although that was quite a volatile hot spot Opponent uh, Yabba scored well off of it, 37 points. And then I played. Um, what did I play? Uh, clergy was best for 39 from the trip. I didn't even consider that. 
or did no, I did actually consider plays there. Um, terrible rack leave, but for that score, I certainly would have pounced on it. I went with Kerr to balance the rack and then Lairized through the R for 82 or Distrail through the R as well. So nice uh, four timer by opponent there. Relaxing seems fine for 75. Hayoi for 31. Oh, that sorts the rack out quite nicely, getting the H tripled in two directions. Um, 31, opponent went with hate for 33. Consent seems fine as a bingo. And then a whole whack of eyes there. Um, opponent having hung on to um, three of them, then picked up a fourth one. So he then went with Fido, option E for 61. Oh, I, I really felt there was a bingo here. And there it is, 5 val 8, option E through the eye. Um, I, it's a word that I am familiar with, so a little bit disappointed for having missed it, but always tricky at a spot with the blank on the rack. I went with Eon for rack balancing purposes, and look at this an absolute nightmare of a rack. Um, opponent refusing to exchange, plays Peer for 24, and then Earshot for 110. I was happy to spot that, because I, I identified the overlap, and I thought if I can somehow get um, extra value off these letters here, but I didn't expect to have the H fall on the trip, so I was very happy with that. Now opponent struggling again with vowels, uh, chin for 22, and here it was a tricky situation. I thought, do I just block it with a, a G, scoring almost nothing, or do I um, go for score? Curry for 29 at 14 F. Okay, but yeah, I don't know. Opening up the trip at the bottom. It's a good score. Not such a great rack leave. I thought I'd keep it a bit tighter. And scored 23 for rug. Now... Eo for 19, or Tain for 36, so opponent spotted the highest scoring play, but left himself with the vowels there again, and good for good for 28. Uh, good score at 14G, but again, not a fan of opening the trip up when the scores are so close. So I went with COP for 28, and it also took out the Z danger. And um, an opponent did have the Z at that stage, went with Zoa for 37. Ovation through the TI, and okay, getting the V tripled. 24 with a very strong rack leave, tricky one to spot. Um, 37 seems fine. And then Yui for 30 or Dicey for 30. Yui was a better rack leave. But... Yeah. Yui at G1. Ah, oh, Yui there. And again, that would give some back. So, but it wouldn't have given back a huge amount. I actually quite like that play. Dicey was a bit dicier because it did open the trips. So, more volatile. Mom for 30 seems fine. Oh, Omov as well at C12. Ah, uh, there, down. That's quite nice, actually. Look at that rack leave. Pretty strong. 
Nothing wrong with mom though. The rive rack leave is pretty uh, flexible too. And then juglet. Okay, there was a slightly higher scoring play, but I was happy to get rid of the UV combo. So nothing wrong there. Wavery for 48. Now that's an interesting play as we're going into the end game. Wavery brings opponent up to 456. So a slight lead. And he scored 34. So he kept pace, but I had a slight advantage. Um, snugly. Okay. There we go. Snugly. For 36, strung for 31. I thought if opponent had a six letter play beginning with an R, he's won the game. So, yeah, I thought if he scores there, I can outrun him with strung, but yeah, so that was my thinking. I, I just couldn't see a a six letter play beginning with an R, but if there is one, then I did make the right play to block his out. And uh, he did manage to go out here, but not for enough. Verily for 39, but he wouldn't have gone out, but it would have given him, no, it would have just brought him exactly level. And then I go out with lax. So, um, Opponent went out with Viroli and final score was 458 to 481. Um, so a good game there. A very strong player, Anand. I um, hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.